Hey there, space fans. I'm Kurt, and you're watching Fun Space Facts with Kurt. These videos are my attempt at short and sweet and simple explanations about some possibly complex space topics. If you aren't currently living under a rock, you probably saw or heard that NASA is testing their new giant moon rocket prior to its first uncrewed test flight to the moon. And you may be wondering, how does NASA move its giant moon rocket out to the launch pad? Well, the answer is simple. We just pick it up, we carry it out there, and then we set it down. Enter NASA's heavy-duty, super-powerful, yet very slow-moving crawler transporter machines, otherwise known as the crawlers. NASA's crawlers can lift and carry huge rockets along with their super-heavy launch platforms to the launch pad and they actually self-level while driving up the incline to the pad. The crawlers drive at less than one mile per hour when fully loaded, and they consume one gallon of diesel fuel for every 32 feet of travel. That's only 0.006 miles per gallon, which is six one thousandths of a mile per gallon, which means they use 165 gallons for every mile. The crawlers are quite the gas guzzlers. NASA's two crawlers were manufactured in the mid-1960s for the Apollo moon program. They were in use throughout the entire space shuttle program, and they're still in use today for NASA's Artemis moon program. Talk about an efficient use of taxpayer dollars, am I right? Well, aside from the gas guzzling, NASA's crawlers could originally lift and carry 12 million pounds, which was good enough for both the Apollo program and for the shuttle program. But it wasn't good enough for NASA's new giant moon rocket called the Space Launch System, or SLS. So, back in 2016, NASA performed a pretty serious crawler transporter upgrade, which upped the capacity from 12 million to 18 million pounds. Now they can lift and carry SLS and even have room to spare to support future, even heavier rockets. Speaking of lifting and carrying heavy things, the weight of the crawler, along with the weight of the SLS rocket and its mobile launcher and its tower, they all total nearly 22 million pounds. And so every time NASA rolls out the SLS rocket to the launch pad, it essentially pulverizes the top layer of river rocks on the crawler way. NASA maintains this layer of rocks by stirring them up a bit after each rollout in order to bring new, mostly unbroken layer of rocks to the surface. Eventually though, too much of this rock layer gets pulverized and has to be hauled away and replaced with fresh, unbroken rocks. That's it for this episode of Fun Space Facts with Kurt. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back later for more episodes. Bye.